Hey everybody, this is Kasu, and this is probably going to be a pretty long video which I will record in different sessions, but today we are going to be trying to raise our Miragaya. I named mine Cactus for appropriate reasons, uh, so yeah, let's begin our long and arduous journey. I already finished the uh, tutorial, so all I need to do is just run around and uh, you know, just do whatever. Oh, let's quickly head out. Uh, what big quail lake? Ew, ew. I've just saw how, how much of a chonker the Miragaya is. I look at this chonky boy. Like, just let me turn off the uh HUD for a second. I look at how chonky this boy is. <laughs> uh, also, it's been so long since I played this game. Kind of forgot where everything is, except for the usual rock. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot to say. I think my main objective is to quickly, as fast as possible, unlock muddy skills, uh, and muddy skills and kicked on, so that I can at least have the armor to survive. Uh, the main objective, not main objective. The main reason for those is I just need to have these things so that I can paralyze. Like if they bite me and they get paralyzed, I can run away as fast as possible. As much as possible. Alright, there you go. Oh, okay, I love Venomous Spine already. Huh? I mean, Venomous Spine is also an idea, but Venomous Spine is if I can even survive the hits. But at least Paralysis is if they hit me a certain amount of time, they will be stunned and I can try to leg it. Plus, Paralysis also will reduce their speed and, their, and increase their cooldown, so it's like a much it's not a better version of the paralysis, but it's a quicker, more immediate version of the para uh, of the venom version of the venom. Not paralysis, sorry. Like paralysis is just a quicker and more, uh, yeah, a quicker version of the venom. Cause the venom takes time before you can he slows down and unable to chase you. Whereas paralysis is oh stop right there and also fuck you you know, and your speed. Uh, do I want? Oops. Do I want to go... Oh, I want to go here, but do I want to go here? I think this is horrible. This is a horror, horrible place to go. Uh, I hope... I think I can hop here and then hop here. Because this part is the main part that I want to be at. Alright, let's try. Hopefully there's no un aquatic predators in the water. Yeah, I'll hope for the best. In terms of jumping and trying to swim over this as fast as possible. Okay, let's go! Come on, come on, come on, please don't have any creatures in the water. Hoi. Okay, from the left, from the right, no, no predators yet. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Okay, no, 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 nothing in the water yet. Come on, come on, you can do it. Please don't suddenly appear out of nowhere. Okay, Woo, safe. Alright, up next. Okay, with a short, another short break before running there. Also, uh, just a short um, FYI. I kind of tested it out after I made the video yesterday for, uh, well, rather at the time of this recording, yesterday for the Mira Gaia. Apparently, if you have the mud armor on and you don't ha and you switch to Toxic Bug or whatever, and you drop inside the water, the mud won't wash away. It will essentially be still on your body. Like, I don't I think that's probably just a bug. Where only if you wear the muddy armor height, then you touch water, then the mud the armor will melt off. Otherwise you'll stay on forever. That means it's like a permanent armor. Which is a bit concerning. I think Elderon game should hurry up and get rid of that. Otherwise it's gonna be stupid. But I don't know whether the effect still stays to like the increased armor. I'm pretty sure it increases armor, right? Or did I read it wrongly? Yeah, see? 50% increased armor. So that's dumb. Anyways, I am here now, which is good. That means I'm kind of safe ish. I can start collecting my. everything, basically. Okay, if I unlock my muddy skill. Let's unlock that first before I die and lose my marks. What the fuck? 
Oh, that's a bug. Okay. I picked out all five flowers and it's still there. Yeah, that's the same. The fuck? Oh, okay. Well, at the wrong game, I think you need to do a little bug fixing. There we go. Oh yeah, they are marked here now. I think there's like a future update where they have like mats everywhere, then they have nesting throughout everywhere and your objective might be just to you know make a nest and Whoa, oh, what's this? Oh it's just an Amira guy. Yeah. Go away. No, oh, go away, I don't care. Go away. No, stay away from me! Go away! I don't like people. Okay. Now let's head to my usual running spots. Hmm, I probably should. Yeah, I think I do. I should do that first. I should put on my uh mud armor ASAP and just keep rolling around in the dirt until I'm like you know all armored up. Okay, this is where things will get a little bit risky because these that slip pass and uh like this if you see my previous. Get a place of uh, power titans. This path is usually my path to run around and pick up and level up. Sorry, uh, not sorry. So it's uh, it's gonna be a bit scary because I think there's a lot of people that knows this path too, and this path is relatively easy to level up creatures in. So if you want to use this path, go ahead. But it's because you know it's relatively easy, that's why there are a lot of players that will be here, making it a fair bit more difficult. But I'm thinking maybe I should go to that after I put on the kick. I might should go to the waystone first to, you know, activate the not really activate but to like just go through the waystone to get rid of that mark on my map. That is an adult Mira guy. Uh, I'm gonna run past. God damn! Like Mira guy just came out like a day ago, and someone's already adult. Fucking then. Get me out of here. Why are you chasing me? Why are you chasing me? Why are you chasing me? Ooh. Wait, no, he's not chasing me. Okay. I don't know what happened, but... I don't know what that was, but I... I, I, I safely escaped it, I guess. What the fuck was that? Why is suddenly <laughs> Maybe he's just running back to his house, you know. Not achieve. Money skills equipped. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now I just need to hurry up and go get flowers and whenever possible apply my muddy skills so the paralysis will proc more often and I can escape more often. That is the reason why I want to have that. Oh gosh. That is a Giant raptor. Fuck my life. Okay. I will chill outside here until. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill outside here, you know? Outside the home base. So even if he tries to like grab me or like pounce on me or whatever me, I'm, I'm going to not care. By not care, I mean like just, you know, fuck it, just hide. Problem is, I don't know whether I can survive. Not oh, hi, what the fuck, bro? Hey, what's up? Oh, he has a skin. Which skin is that? Is that the. Backer skin or is it which one is it? I can't remember. I think it's a backer skin. Is this the mid Hold on, is it this one? Oh my god, he already got it. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? I hear something. Yep, I hear I definitely hear something. Oh, nope, not, not that I care. I'm running now. Bye, bye, bye. Woo! Fuck this shit, I'm out! Okay, safe. Now I can just slowly, or rather, at my own leisure, pick up flowers. Okay, more snacks. So just a bit of an advice to anyone who plays Power Titan. If you want to come to Destiny Pass to collect stuff, this place is the best. Like, this particular part here is the best. Because, like, everything is, everything is here. Succulents, flowers, and bones, they're all here. Like, the bones are here. The succulents and flowers are here, so they're all relatively close to each other. Okay, I think I will hit to... No, not you. I think I'll hit to the waystone for the 
EXT, free EXT that they're gonna give. Um, I would say Impact Creator is tempting to go into because Impact Creator is relatively like easy to gather material, like not materials, gather EXP and stuff like that. Side problem, Impact Creator is a fucking arena, so don't go there. If you're not willing to pull up a fight, don't go there. If you just want to run and escape, don't go there. Uh, if you want to, you know, disturb people or annoy someone, go there. Hopefully the fact that I'm disguised as like, like you know, muddy, right, is able to help me blend into the surroundings a bit more. They just need to not see my tail. Now here's a bit risky, uh, because uh, they... I mean, it's not recent, but it's fairly recent. The Waystone has you know, on cooldown. And that means that there's a high chance, or rather a medium chance that someone is around here. But I'm just going to just go this, go through everything, get my free XP, and a fucking leg it. Okay, now to go back to my usual spots to run around. Oh my god, thank you. My goal is, I'm like, my side quest, or rather my one of my quests, the blue quest, is to go back. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't care. I seen the Rex walk past, right? Okay. Maybe uh, maybe they already walked past. I didn't notice. Leg it, run, run away! Don't touch me. The the Rex wasn't uh adult Rex, uh, but that. That raptor might be a dog raptor. Okay, go away. Thank you. Go away. Shoo. Why is there so many carnivores? The fuck? That slip pass and uh, like this. If you see my previous uh, place of uh, Power Titans, this path is usually my path to run around and pick up and level up. So it's uh it's gonna be a bit scary because I think there's a lot of people that knows this path too. Man, honestly, I think like last time Greenfield was a very good place to get EXP also because it was relative like last like way way like before they revamped the map a bit right uh, this place here was a very good place to get EXP because everything was again quite nearby and it's especially good for semi-aquatics because there's water nearby so if any danger you just rush back into the water that's that's uh that's 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 not fun. That's not fun to look at. Alright. I am dirt, I am dirt, I am dirt, I am dirt. You do not see me whatsoever. I am a rock. I'm just a strangely spiky rock. them. Alright. Hide right here. He's probably just collecting all of it also. I, I don't I don't need to fight him for it. I don't want to fight him for it. He is away. Yeah he's away, he's away, he's away. Okay. I can just dig up my stuff. Oh okay. That was a bit scary. Thankfully, there's a bush there for the hide. But then the thing is, right? If someone were to, cause I know there's this trick which, if you use it, shame on you. Where if you lower your settings in the game, uh, you basically reduce all the foliage in the ga game. Oh, let me hide behind this one. You reduce all the foliage in the game, and basically you can see through the grass when other people can't see it with higher uh graphics and stuff like that. So it's a bit of a cheat you can use but please don't use it because if you use it nobody likes you 
Like, what kind of loser must you be to do this kind of thing in a dinosaur game for fuck's sake? Good. Okay. Ah! It's here! The hyper elusive water source. Right, drink the water. Oh fuck fuck fuck. No 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 not my my mud armor. Okay, you put water sources but I can't drink from it. What? What the fuck? Okay, I might be a little bit more vulnerable now due to having my armor washed off, unfortunately. Uh now I'm just waiting for this wet status to disappear so I can apply my armor again. Oh no. Do they see me? Okay, they're ignoring me. <laughs> I didn't see them. <laughs> My heart stopped for a second. <laughs> and... I keep saying dirt. My armor, sorry. And I'm done. Alright, let's go. This is a bug. I can't like... Drink water near... Hold on a second. I should be able to drink water the moment I like face down here, right? That's weird. Okay. That's really weird. Can't drink water but can eat. Okay, this is where things will get a little bit difficult, scary, whatever you want however you wanna call it. Currently in hunter's ticket, meaning that or rather snake gully. Meaning that there is or might be a lot of creatures nearby. I'm probably not going to care about the snake gully stuff because one of the quests is to swim over to the other side. I'm not doing that. I'm not losing this my armor for the sake of my own survivability. Okay, let's try. Let's try trying to drink from this particular water source. This time, yeah. Right, I'm gonna report. I'm gonna report this back again. I'm gonna die now. Bye. Oh, I was fighting a bug. God damn it! Okay, that's fine. I'm got a bit set back. Oh, okay. That bug report was kept. Oh wait, no, the bug was. But okay, what the fuck? Where am I? Oh my god, I'm here. Oh, that's that's far. Oh god. Ah, uh, that's far from where I want to be. This kind of sucks, to be honest. Well, I don't. I don't have any uh. Mud thing of magic. Uh, not mud thing. I didn't have any uh. Mats, so that's fine. Eh, let it be. Let us. Let's, let, I heard the sound. I'm like, oh fuck. I I need to send this as fast as possible. I'll say this is like the worst quest ever. Finding two, finding like five turtle shells and like eleven, twenty, thirty-five seashells. That's like the worst. Because seashells are relatively easy to find. The turtle shells are like spread everywhere. I have to run so far for it. Oh fuck off. Holy fuck. He just run towards my direction. But he seems pretty small, so I should be okay. Why are you asking to collect snake sponge? Oh fuck. Mm, okay. By the way, uh, in... Oh fuck off. The juvenile Rex don't come at me. Oh my god, he's coming at me. Hi. You can't catch me. Oh, I'm not gonna care. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to collect my mushroom. Fuck you, you stupid wreck. I can't even run fast enough. <laughs> oh, 
I'm like on the fourth bar to becoming a juvenile. Don't fucking kill me. Adolescent, sorry. I'm juvenile now. Don't fucking kill me. Once I adolescent, I can fight. Ho I I can you know can attack me all I want. But now I'm close to it, so no. Okay, that's a very funny bug in the game for the Mira Gaia, specifically for Mira Gaia lah. Uh, apparently, the interaction point for the uh, for the head right, I think they flipped it upside down. Oh, not flipped upside down. They flipped it the other way, where like my interaction point right is like on my butt. So I cannot drink water. I need to be like my ass facing towards the water. Then I can drink water. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's to be like I sent the bug before already. I should move north actually. Rock. Hopefully, I have a place where I can stay dry and hop over. I think there is a way. Take a bit of damage, but oh fuck off! Oh. oh no! Oh, oh, oh! I'm stuck. Are you for fucking real? Wait, hold on. Can I just? For fucking real. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Ooh! Ow! But I'm alive. Okay, I might need to swim, but at least I'm alive. Holy fucking shit, dude. Them rocks are slippery. Holy <laughs> shit, what the fuck? I nearly died! Actually, not even the nearly died part, I nearly got stuck. That's the most scary part. And now succulents, okay. I wonder why they call it succulents. Isn't there like a word or like you know a word to define this this particular species of plants? Like how there are words to define this particular species of animal. Like our cactuses. Why succulents? Such a weird name. Mushrooms and flowers. Oh, well, the flowers and mushrooms all can be, you know, obtained here. Cause they're literally everywhere. Yeah, actually, I just realized this spot in the savanna is probably the best. Cause you have everything here: succulents. Like everything nearby, succulents and stuff like that. So yeah, if you are if you are trying to you know figure out where to go in Savannah, uh, this spot here, like see this particular crossroad here. Yeah, this spot here is probably the best. But I remember correctly, if you want like pine, not pine cones, the tiger nuts, right? I think somewhere here is also pretty pretty good. Yeah, this is dumb. This is dumb. I'm just picking my the. Hit part is like the interaction the interaction part is like on my butt. I'm just drinking it like this. And now tiger nut. Alright, I wish other lessons. So I'm gonna just collect rather finish up this and desolate pass and I'll wrap it up until the next time I play this. Turn out adolescence, what did I unlock? Oh, I unlock everything. Uh except my second tail attack. Sensors, probably I'll be taking this one. Mud block is not really useful. Ah, this is very much needed. Just fill out slots as fast as possible. Alright. Now bones, then flowers, then I will be done with uh this round of adolescence. And 
Honestly, other than that one time I died to that Sako and also being chased by a Rex, but the Rex is too slow to catch me. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty chill. Uh, met the carnivores, they didn't really do much to me, thankfully. Now I to, this recording has to last particularly longer. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. And there we go. Dave! Alright! So that comes to the end for the journey from... Was it Juvenile? Yeah, Juvenile to Adolescence. And my editing self will cut you guys to the next part now. Okay, this is like the second day in real life, and second day means from adolescence to sub adult now. Let's get to it. I feel pretty good. I should have more, or rather, I should be much more prepared compared to the, like when I was a juvenile because I have more abilities to help me survive. And if I'm not wrong, I do not have a census yet, but I have this, 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 and this. So I my survival rate is just increased by that little bit, you know. So hopefully uh, something exciting happens so that I can put inside the video today. If not, then it's fine. Just another peaceful day of growing up. There we go. I might as well top off on water, right? See? It's dumb fucking. I like slurping the floor. Oh, I can get mud block now. Uh, you know what? I think I'll get one of the sensors first. Try to get mud block so I can, you know, survive longer. I'll try to get envenomation. The envenomation doesn't. Not useful until okay. You no, know I'll get this one. All right. I don't lie. The music has a bit of Valheim vibes to it. Like like the sea voyage fairing sound. I don't know. Is it just a coincidence or it just sounds similar? Yep. I'm gonna stick it. Uh, pine cones. All right. Pine cones fine. I have a question. If let's say a raptor lash like lunges and like latched onto me, and I swing my like use my lash ability. Wait, hit it! It does, right? Because, you know, it's inside the... It's like in the zone. And then the camera, like... We're just fling everywhere. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Make give the Raptor players motion sickness if they have any. It just keeps swinging around without them moving. Because uh, motion sickness, I, if I recall... Or rather, based on like how I feel, right? Is if something is... If you are moving when you're not, not the one controlling it, then that will cause you motion sickness. Like your brain is not registering like, oh okay, like I'm turning my mouse left, my brain is registering, oh you're turning left. But if I turn right and my brain, my brain is also telling me, oh you're turning right. But if I'm not moving and the my camera just suddenly goes, lo, 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 I will be like, uh, 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 uh. oh I see someone, that's an archilovator. Go inside. Yep. Probably can't see me in the forest. I just need to hide in the shadows. Unfortunately, he's a lot faster than me, so if he wants to catch me, he can, but whether I can pull up a decent fight against him is uh, another question on that I need to find out myself also. <laughs> I hear something. Yep, I... It's a... Right! Okay, they are fighting. I'm not caring. I'm not doing my own shit. Oh, the Archilovator didn't see me in the shadows. Stay in the shadows, stay in the shadows. Yeah, this my this blends really well. Anyways, I'm gonna see, watch. Oh gods. Oh gods. Hi. Okay, they're not carrying on me. Oh fuck off. But there are two of them, that's the annoying part. Uh, maybe I should run. I shouldn't stay here. Yeah, maybe I should get out of here. Bye. Oh my god, it's like hearts. Go away. Loki wants to kill him, but go away. But I hear a bigger wing flap, so no. What the fuck? Oh, what? Go 
of way is straight Raptor. He can't even jump on me, the mouth. Come here. Come here, you pest. That's right, by the way. It didn't do much for me actually. Okay, he's actually still he's here. I don't want to hit the the the, the lasso. The lasso seems like a chill guy, just like the fuck bro. Anyway, he packed me up, but you know, that's not what he intended. He just tried to hit the fucker. Anyways, pine cones. Oh, so every time I... Every time they hit me, my armor will drop. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, so I, I, I thought it was like... Huh, okay, no, I think maybe that's the reason why they have the... The percentage. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. So every time I get hit, my armor will drop. So the more they hit me, the lower my armor goes. Or my mark armor. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, that's fine. What is going on? Uh, should I do the leg read? Honestly, I'm, uh, after that previous uh, situation, I'm gonna die now. Bye. Oh, I'm kind of traumatized. Eh, not worth the risk. I'm out of here. Honestly, the what's that? What's that? V, uh, not VTuber. What's that YouTuber called? Tiazu, like Tiazu is a YouTuber that I follow and I, I really like his uh, content and stuff like that. But I think one of the things that is the most accurate is about what he says and this game is the fact that flyers have a lot of access, easy access to like EXP. Like, I know he the way he makes it is that oh, uh, birds because of flight is able to easily access things that uh, other creatures, land creatures can't reach like you know food and stuff like that and they count food as exp and stuff like that the fact that this is what is happening in this game is hilarious because when you're you know a sea creature or land creature you are uh tied down to your like what where you are like if your land creature are tied down to land your sea creature is tied down to sea if you're semi-aquatic creature you're tied down to uh land and sea which is you know better two options better than one but not still not the best because you're still on ground level and have to you know walk or swim around for it whereas for flying creatures uh you can go to get a bird's eye view and easily swoop down and gather things and because you have the power of the y-axis you can just fly towards a particular spot, pick up the item, fly to another spot, pick up the item, regardless of where the items are. They can be on the same Y level, one can be higher, one can be lower, it's nothing to you. So yeah, it's kind of hilarious that Tier Zoo's uh, representation of EXP gathering in real life, right, is actually an accurate representation in this game. Do that's did they purposely do this because I have mud armor? Or like because the mirror guy has mud armor? Is it so that it's to tell you like you are so fucking stupid that you need to see dirt in order to drink water? Do I have dirt for brains and stomach and everything else? Do I have a whole ecosystem in my stomach? What the fuck is going on? Okay. There you go. Hey. Counter turn. Well, oh, give me the food quest. I don't want to run back and forth. I'm going to do a run laps around the berry bush. You know what? Uh, oh, I heard something. Yep, I definitely heard some, hear something. Yeah, that's right. Paraly paralyze. Paralysis. Go away. Chill. Paralysis, bitch. Alright. I 
grabbed it. Alright. It all seems like I'm not strong enough to fight these guys yet. Uh, hopefully I can get stronger. Where the fuck am I? Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm here. Apparently, now that I think about it, the paralysis isn't that... Like, yeah, I, I will, you know, increase the paralysis. Mm. Okay, I think I got an idea on how to change my tactic when I face an encounter like that. I should let the paralysis happen, turn around, and like try to hit him as fast as possible. But the paralysis doesn't last very long, I realize. And now it's night time, which is bad for me in real life because it's the morning now and I can't see shit because of reflection. Hello. Lamau. Fuck you. See, this kind of stupid hat player immediately flies down, sees you, peck. Kind of Oh, that's, that pisses me off. Oh my god. Now time to get salty again against Hearts player. Fucking Hearts players, I swear. <laughs> I'll take a counter turn for now. I think Envenomation, like just a, you know, since I'm waiting for the time to pass. I think Envenomation is only useful if you're in a group, actually, because you need to do enough damage. If you're alone, I think having a balance would be better. Because I don't know how, how fast the Venom, especially the Toxin, applies. For the normal Venom, I is fine, but Toxin, I don't know how fast it applies. Each hit do they do to me, is it like 1%? 2%? 5%? I don't know. This be flowers. Yes! Hey, Lake Green. Alright, done. Now Shellfishers. Do you know, I think one, or one thing that they can add into Power of Titans is, like, because a lot of people are like, oh, the owl has a, has a smell button to like, you know, seek out things nearby. Like, seek out like water source and stuff, and, and you know, people's footprint and like that. And Power Titans don't need to follow that path. But I think the smell, right, could be... Oh, what the fuck? Why, why am I not able to pick up shit? The fuck? Oh, there you go. Like, I think the smell button can be boiled down to like, just use it and then in an area around you you're able to see anything that you are inter that is interactable like branches roots of the mushrooms flowers food anything just anything around because sometimes in this game it's a bit hard to see shit anyways i'm not supposed to go over here Where are... oh what was that oh that is a very big to call my mother is running after me right this instant. All right. Oh my god! That's just hitting me quite hard. Holy shit! Okay. Probably because it was full grown. Holy shit! That was that hurts. He hurts. Holy shit! What the fuck? Well, I don't have my mud armor anymore. How much money do I have? Okay, you know what? I think I should spend it on this. Keep dying. Oh my god, my... I hate this. I hate the players here. I'm just an adolescent. Come on, give me a chance. Alright. Oh, thank god the Rex didn't want to hustle. <laughs> Oh, that scared me for a bit. Anyways, I'm pulling body skill. Go outside. Uh, rest. Sl uh, slap on the skills. Go back inside. Stop to toxic barbs and come out again. Okay. One eternity later. Yeah, this is better. Back limbs. Still... Okay. Should be fine. Right. Let's hop to it. This view should be okay. Okay. I assume should be relatively okay because there shouldn't be much stuff. Oh, then again, I just realized there might be creatures nearby. So, we need to be a bit careful, but this view is relatively better. Never mind, I just heard something. You can't see me. You are none the wiser. I am literally the floor. 
this floor is green, but thankfully it's dark, so I can't you can't actually see me. Because if it's bright, I'm pretty damn sure you can see me. So I'm bit my leg out. I'm gonna save up my stamina. Don't you fucking dare think about it. All the like veins in my oh my god, the sound is my spot to say. All the veins in my body is like telling me to fucking deck him. Uh, all the things in my body is genuinely telling me to thank him. I got nuts, alright. And my current quest is to go to Impact Crater, which I don't really particularly want to, but you know, free XP is free XP, am I right? Yeah, let's see Impact. Oh, God. Let's see Impact Crater. Uh, how populated it is. Fairly populated. I'm not going there then. Bye. Okay, uh, close to the Desolate Pass. Let me chill, walk, regen some stamina, and hopefully nothing comes out and bites me again. This game is like the definition of paranoid, by the way. I'm like getting scared from my own footsteps. Thinking there's someone there. Alright, off to the Desolate Pass. Oh fucking hell, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought it was another mirror guy. Ah, it's fine then. It looks a bit big though. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Boing. <laughs> oh, he's a younger one, alright. Well, hopefully this won't take too long. Okay. Fail swing, yeah, let me get that. Why not? At the next expensive. Oh, actually, I don't want Envenation, maybe Envenation is not the best. But I'll get to the thing first. <sighs> Alright, now the Desolate Pass, now... Ah, uh, Savannah so Grassland. Okay. Okay. Get out here. Go away. Uh, eat. Go away. That was my first successful like attempt to ask a predator to kindly fuck off. Oh, I can do is chase it away. Alright. This guy is. doesn't really want to give up, does he? Running out of stamina, so am I.
much stamina do you have? Jesus Christ. Oh, he's running away, so that's a good indicator that he might be a bit too low or doesn't want to fight anymore. To which I say good. Ah, this build might be good. Like, it reduces their stamina, so they need to watch out, and then plus, it also gives them paralysis, so they can't really bite me as often, otherwise, they will stun and I can just free slap their face like 5,000 times. And actually, the combat, this combat turn is uh, pretty bloody useful. Alright, off to uh, another spot. Okay, now insects. Okay, now flowers and the White cliffs? Oh wait, white cliffs is just there. Alright, I'll collect all the things, then I'll walk towards white cliffs. Oh, there we go. Off the white cliffs I go. Now... There we go. Find rocks, alright. Uh, should I risk it? Alright, let me rest, rest up first. Go inside impact crater. Hopefully can get... Some... Better quest, and I will be full. My XP will be full, and I'll be sub adult. Then I can die without regret. If I die now, there will be a lot of regrets. I have sub adult now. No, oh, I'm so close. Oh my god, this has nothing. I'm so close to being an adult. Don't kill me now. Please, please. You can kill me after what about now. Oh, wow, this is refreshing. Really. Not that. Well, don't care. Running straight for the food. Okay. Oh, I think I have some adult. Alright, I'll leave this. Oh, I get. I have unlocked. Okay, that's great. I'll un I unlock literally everything. Once you reach some adult, I don't have to reach adult phase, then it's like, oh, actually, there's like one more slot you can unlock. God damn, I hate that. Okay, I unlocked some adult finally. I'll leave this. I'll leave the sub adult to adult to me in the future. Okay, finally, we are at the last stretch. Now we are going to be going from sub adult all the way to adult. And I would try to fight and get at least one trophy. Hopefully that works out. If it doesn't then I, I have no idea what to say. But yeah, I'll try my best to get it. So yeah, last stretch, last stretch before this journey comes to an end. So just to give you a brief a brief uh information um, I've my storage is was full because of the two recording the two recording takes up around like nearly one fifth or like two fifth of my entire CP my entire computer storage so I didn't play this game for a period of time so let's hope that this works out well uh, I'm seeing the chat right now, and it looks like there are some people at Snake Gully, which I'm a bit hesitant about because uh, I want to reach go there, but I'm not sure how well grown or how much, like how big they are. Okay, now that we're done with Savannah, let's head to. Uh, I don't remember the name, but let's go to that place. Ooh, okay, I just saw the chat again. I think I shouldn't be going to Snake Gully. Uh, because some... There's a Rex there. Like, uh, in the chat, someone is like asking whether the person is Snake Gully. The, the Rex is Snake Gully is uh, from his country, so I'm a bit hesitant to go there now. I think I'll just go a bigger round. Also, uh, just say. Fun fact, I went ahead and played the deathmatch or the deathmatch test with the Mira Gaia. His damage is not the highest. But it can hit take some or take quite a lot of hits. Not not from a Rex or anything, but yeah, I can take quite a lot of hits. Okay. Now for flowers. Wow, they still haven't fixed that bug yet, god damn. Okay, done. Wow, okay, game. Looks like you want me to go back to the savannah. Well, if the game wants me to, I can't say no, right? Who are you? Fuck you. Go away. Huh? With a name like that, just a random jumble of letters, you probably just want to come and kill me. 
Oh my god, it's already resetted. Oh my god. Alright. Yes, I'm gonna co start collecting EXP in Savannah again. Okay, I don't really have the second bar to adult. Let's pray. Uh. Let's pray that we can reach adult. Then I'll go to impact creator and try to find a fight. If there's no fight, then I'll just end it there, unfortunately. Hopefully, I can fight something and hopefully I win. But that, that depends on my skill and how cocky that guy is. Ah, why is it so dark? I can't see shit. Okay, now to I go impact creator. Or should I actually go to the swamp here? This is like easier. Yeah, why not? Let's go to the swamp. I'm big enough, I probably can handle myself if there's something there. Spino, just run. I think the pro actually no, you know what? I changed my mind, changed my mind. I'm a bit scared because of the water. So let's take a look at impact creator. If not, I'll go to uh White Cliffs. I see where Impact Creator has something. If not, I'll go to White Cliffs. Uh, yeah, not the most quiet. There's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, no big predators, but yeah. I do I want the trouble? Nah, it doesn't mean it's worth the trouble. I hear wind flapping. Yep, that is a big ass hat. But it seems like I just want to deliver stuff. If he comes and disturbs me, then I'll do something about it. By the way, this is like the epitome of like why I previously said that tier Zeus video makes sense. Of like the EXP thing. Because even like this is a quest that no animals to do in real life, but yet it is kind of, it is relatively true that the y-axis is OP. Finally, it's not worth it for 30 seconds only, holy fuck me. Rocks, no, I got that. Triad Falls, where's that? Oh, just down. Okay. Sure, why not? Since you give me a direction, I might as well go for it, right? Hmm, someone's here. Seems a bit peaceful thus far. Not really met anything or anyone that really wants to like that or pose a threat to me basically. That raptor was a bit too ambitious. Okay. I think I'll hopefully once it resets um the waystones will be gone. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what the world reset does. Like, does it reset the materials? Does it reset the water? What the hell does it reset? Like, I, I, genuinely, I have no idea after playing this game for so long. Well, we're around halfway there, but I'm not sure whether we can reach there at all. I think I'll reach it on my own time, even if we reach, like, adulthood. Because we're already on the, I'll finish our third bar, we're, on the, we're now on our fourth bar to adulthood. And yeah, just doing that. Again, pretty chill today. Not much um, creatures that wants to like bite my ass. But once I reach adult, I will promise you I'll go to Impact Creator and try my hardest to get a trophy. Alright, did I die? No, I didn't. Alright, good. Oh, fantastic Amanitas right here. I 
think they fixed the range on the, or rather the the, the, the interaction point for the. Can not pick it up? There we go. Okay, we're well, almost there. I was gonna walk towards uh here. Big ass view. Okay, time to go reapply my mud armor. Mud armor reapplied. I'm thinking, should I use venomous instead? Cause venomous, cause they're raptors. Venomous works well with raptors since they bite me, they will lose stamina. This I can't really hit them properly, but you know, I think let's not be boring. Let's use uh toxic and see how it works. Okay. Oh what? I can gather again? Hell yeah. Alright, young growth it is again. Hmm, some some I hear something. Not sure why I hear, but I hear something. Yep, that is something. Is that you? Do I try? Ah, uh, it's a suko too. Oh, it's huge, by the way. What the fuck? We're in a dollar. Okay, there's a bunch of them. I'm probably am dead here. All right, I'm out by. Thank god I run fast. Oh, thank the heavens I run fast. I think that Suko and that uh Duck are together. Let's make a note to not walk there. Titans pass. Where's that? A bit far. Let's not walk there. Alright. Whew, that was. I mean, if it's one Suko, I might try, but. God damn, he's huge. And the problem is, there wasn't one Suko. There was like two Suko and a duck. So, uh, no, thank you. Okay, Gremlins. Let's start to have a Please be Tiger Nuts, there's so many Tiger Nuts here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I need to wait for that stupid Southwest Wisdom to disappear. But fuck. Impact crater for a bit. I just take a peek inside and see how's the how's the population wise. Oh, there's a hat. There's a bunch of. Okay, never mind. I'm out of here. Ah, the hat shouldn't be that keen to trying to peck my face to death, right? I assume you don't want anything. Good. Holy fuck. I'm gonna lie, every time I hit the flap of the wing, my heart just. My heartbeat. My heart rate just spikes a little bit. Honestly, I can't imagine. I mean, like, I know that they reworked the Kentro source a little bit, but I can't imagine, like, Kentro and Mira Gaia working together. One bleeds, one uh, gives a uh, toxin. And basically, if you bleed below that HP, you're dead. Kind of terrifying to see this kind of combo. Alright, bones. Okay, flowers. Oh, just right enough. Uh, if I still haven't reached adult by Savannah, I will go to Impact Crater, get adult, hopefully don't die by then, and immediately start fighting. I am going to go here to pick up 
Actually no, maybe the hot spring. Let's try the hot spring again. Nah, not hot spring again. Let's try the hot spring because I remember vaguely that the hot spring is a very good place to collect or level up. So I didn't really like the go there. But let's try. Oh, I got a request. Actually, yeah, change of plan. I think I just go straight to impact crater. I think I can level up all the way in impact crater. That's it, not the slip pass. Impact creator. Uh there's a lot of things inside. The last time I checked, hopefully it's a bit emptier. Because I want to have a one-on-one -on -one fight. And not a 1v5 or 6 fight. 1v2 is also high enough, but then. Let's see impact creator. Okay, from the looks of it. Not nothing much. Pretty sure there's something in the water. But other than that, doesn't seem like there's much. Oh my fucking god. Why do you give me lake weed first? There's something in the water. I know there's something in the water. I don't want to go inside the water. Why do you give me lake weed first? Come the fuck on. Hey, one more. Alright. Oh, this poor Magdalena died. I say poor, but Magdalena is also dead. <laughs> is that all? That's all I need. The hell? Is that all? Is that all? Am I allowed? I went out, oh, yes! And now we have a challenger here. Come on. Oh, I hit him first. Oh, there's two of you, okay. Okay, good. I hit him. Come on.
Oh, they heal, fucker. Alright, Matrix can heal. Annoying. It's fine. Ah, uh, he was still against one. They can probably buff each other. Oh well. Well, I guess that ends the journey for me. From a tiny little Miragaya to a grown up. Uh, that probably was a close match, hopefully. I think it's a close match. And yeah, I, that is it. That is the whole story of how I grew from a little, little spiky porcupine to this big, humongous, poisonous, venomous, whatever us spike ball. And with that, I have come to the end of the video. I think this is a, hold on a second, I think this is a nice little sunset that I can take a look at while I end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see all of you in my next video or stream. Hopefully this long video does well and if it does, maybe I'll do something similar. Alright, take care, bye!